a very good morning to all looking at important headlines from the hindu newspaper for 22nd march today there is no delhi edition it is from the mumbai edition that we'll be discussing the headlines yesterday there was no mumbai edition only delhi edition because of holi so here the first headline on the front page is modi gets varanasi again shah replaces adwani in gandhi nagar so this is regarding you know from which seat the candidate should be contesting so this is political then next is us puts pakistan on notice over terror attack so united states has asked pakistan to take sustained verifiable and irreversible action against perpetration of terrorism against perpetrators of terrorism and warned the con- the country that another terror attack on india will prove to be extremely problematic on page 6 you have nine get life term for attack on dinakaran office so this is a tamil daily newspaper so on which there was an attack in 2007 in which nine people were charged of arson and these were acquitted by the trial court but now they have been convicted by the madras high court even you can see uh, it has convicted police officer as well for not stopping arsons were uh, lighting fire here setting the place on fire on page 7 you have enforcing a ban will not end the menace of stubble burning says researchers so this is uh, what the researchers say on stubble burning they say that farmers must be educated on its monetary costs also and not just uh, announce a ban then this is regarding drought in maharashtra you can see it is said that the uh, the drought situation is likely to get severe because dams in maharashtra are left with less than 32.88% water stock of the total storage capacity and below you have now neet score is valid for 3 years so medical council of india has cleared this long standing confusion about the validity of the entrance exam on the editorial page the first editorial is travesty of justice so this is regarding the samjhauta blast case so in which the all the accused have been uh, acquitted so it says this case raises doubt about india's resolve to prosecute terror cases so in this the right wing former rss member swami asimanand and three others were uh, were accused but then they have been acquitted this was a case in which around 68 people were killed on board the samjhauta express which was going from delhi to lahore in 2007 and majority of those who killed were pakistanis then below you have back on track so this is regarding india maldives relations we saw how external affairs minister sushma swaraj made a visit here which has brought back the normalization of ties and for the you know strengthening of ties between india and maldives so it says india and maldives must continue to build a shared strategic vision the lead article is when free speech is truly free so it says that when that is the case then those in power can be made accountable by those who don't have power only then free speech is truly free then below you have beyond the us them binary so this is in the context of the new zealand attack mosque shootings which have been called by the new zealand prime minister as a terrorist attack so this it says sends a powerful message and it's beyond the us them binary that a terrorist attack by anybody is a terrorist attack. in an op-ed page on fridays you have a parley coverage in which you have a question on which you know two views two counter views are given so here you can see this is what can india do to influence china on masood azhar so these are the two views you know views and counter views given on the issue then on page 10 you have political parties yet to comply with rti act so supreme, supreme court is going to hear petitioners next week so this is regarding political parties refusing to comply with rti act so this is case is now before the supreme court in june 2013 central information commission had ruled that political parties fall within the ambit of the transparency law that is within the ambit of rti and parties insist that they cannot be considered public authorities under the act So this is the issue going on, and it's very important. 
on international page you have new zealand bans semi automatic weapons so new laws are set to be in place by april 11 so there will also be a buyback scheme for such semi automatic weapons so that would also be established so this is post the uh, small uh, massacre at the mosques shooting at the mosques in new zealand then on business page you have rupee dollar swap could boost foreign fund flows under voluntary retention rule so this is regarding rbi's decision to infuse rupee liquidity through long term foreign exchange swap so less uncertainties for foreign portfolio investments under voluntary retention rule is there now rbi is providing three year forward cover so it's buying these foreign exchange swap is taking place and rbi is providing the cover as such then this is reliance industries sends fuel from india europe to venezuela so there is a political crisis in venezuela the uh, the opposition leader is supported by western powers including usa us has imposed sanctions on the south american country venezuela so now reliance industry is sending fuel there from india in europe uh, side stepping the us sanctions on page 14 you have solar heater parts tag, taxed at 18% so industry cries foul because full solar water heater can be imported at 5% but parts are taxed at 18% so that is going to affect the domestic uh, manufacturing here too with those parts and on the last page you have a twin inside a twin an extraordinary birth in colombia so this is an example of fetus in fetus means there is a it is a twin birth but then there is a fetus and within the fetus is abdomen there is another fetus so such a condition is not uh, new it has been uh, described in medical journals as far back as in 1880 so this was a colombian woman she delivered the baby but then uh, fetus in fetus was also growing within the fetus so that had to be removed it was actually a sibling a twin sibling but then when the when the two fetuses are there together one wraps over the other and when the when the fetus grows this is how it happens so the other fetus would not survive but one was delivered so this is the case then this is smartsat software heads to space so just as some aerospace startups are developing technologies to repair modify refuel satellites to prolong their lives some satellite manufacturers are looking at complementary solutions like installing smartphone like software with more computing power and capability of receiving updates within minutes instead of days so such smart set technology is also proposed to be you know sent to space so to uh, to enhance the satellites to increase their life so this is all the way so these are the important headlines for detailed coverage of current affairs you can visit our website asha.com and even download the pdfs thank you